Hi, I'm Meg Atterbury, and I'm gonna give you an exclusive look at how to beat the crowds at the most classic day hikes in Colorado in just two minutes. All of the hikes here on this list are exceptionally crowded and solitude can be hard to come by. However, I've been hiking in Colorado for over 15 years and I've been the only person at each of the highlights on these hikes. First up, hiking in Colorado is dangerous and you need to be prepared. I have a lot of ground to cover, so please see the show notes for information about hiking safety, acclimatizing properly, and visiting responsibly. First up is Mayflower Gulch outside of Copper Mountain. I love this hike because you get a lot of bang for your buck. Start your hike at 45 minutes before sunrise for a chance at solitude. Hanging Lake is another ultra classic. There isn't anything else quite like this fairy tale land in Colorado. You'll need a permit, so snagging a 6 a.m. time slot during the week in May is a great opportunity to get solitude on this easy to moderate hike. You can't mention hiking in Colorado without mentioning the Maroon Bells Crater Lake hike. Again, you'll need a permit to visit. I was here over the 4th of July weekend and we had the entire place to ourselves. We arrived at 5 a.m. and snagged a pre-6 a.m. parking reservation. At 3.4 miles and 688 feet of gain, you'll want to leave the parking area about one hour before sunrise to see this gem alone. Emerald Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park is certainly another must-do hike. What makes this hike so epically great is that you pass by three different lakes on your way to Emerald Lake. This moderate hike is 3.6 miles round trip with 703 feet of gain, and it is one of the most crowded hikes in the country. Plan to arrive at the Bear Lake parking area by 3.30 in the morning and hike by headlamp all the way to Emerald Lake. Then you can stop at the other lakes on the way back. Cascade Creek to Mirror Lake or the Lone Eagle Peak hike takes you to the picture perfect view of the most beautiful mountain in Colorado. Located outside of Grand Lake, this is a 14.6 mile hike that only has 2,375 feet of gain, giving it a moderate rating compared to other hikes in Colorado. You want to start about two and a half hours before the sun rises and hike by headlamp. Hiking this early usually means you can make it to Mirror Lake and get that perfect reflection of the dramatic Lone Eagle Peak on the water. Expect to bump into moose in this area, so please make plenty of noise as you hike and keep your dog on a leash. Mount Snicktow is a popular Colorado 13er that leaves from the top of Loveland Pass. It's a challenging hike with 1,530 feet of gain in just 3.5 miles round trip, but the views are totally worth it. My favorite time to do this hike is actually for sunset. The views are amazing and usually there's no one at the summit. Gore Lake offers up incredible dramatic mountain scenes with lots to do. If you follow snow conditions and plan your trip during the week in the morning, just as the snow is starting to melt, usually end of June to early July, you may be able to have this trail all to yourself. For more resources, including in-depth guides to each of the hikes I've mentioned, check out the show notes down below. If you like this video, please take the subscribe button on an adventure with you. And if you want part two of this video, let me know in the comments down below. For more incredible Colorado hikes, including hidden gems and local tips, visit my blog, foxintheforest.net.